All right, so 11, another one we see use the appropriate equation for the type of sequence or series. Um, and we can see our little list. We have a piggy bank, and the guy dropped in a dollar, then a dollar seventy-five, and then two fifty. And if we start looking for our pattern, especially because we know it's got to be one of the basic ones because it says to use a formula. My cat is sniffing the camera. This is going to end, end poorly. What are you doing? We can see here we're adding seventy-five cents each time. Um, so we're adding seventy-five cents each time. We're dealing with arithmetic. And then we read on to figure out if we want the AN or the SN here. Uh, for full points, use blah, blah, blah. How much did he drop in on May 19th? So in that case, I'm not looking at how much total is in his piggy bank. I'm not going to add these together. I just want to know how much went in on the 8, 8, 19th. So I'm looking for AN. I know this formula. I'm going to write this down and get those points. And then I could actually solve the problem. It says that we want to do this for the 19th day. This was the first day, the second day, the third day. So we're looking for A19. A1 is the first day, so that was $1. We're looking for 19 minus 1. And then our D, well, that's the amount that we added every single day, right? So 75 cents. So that's our equation. This is what we're going to be calculating. So, pull out my calculator. I want 1 plus 9, oops, 19. Again, I could just make this 18. I'm just being slow about it. Times 0.75. Looks like by May 19th, he's dropping $14.50 in there. It's quite a bit of quite a bit of money. And then it says, what was his total deposit for the month of May? So here's where we have to be clever. May doesn't just have 19 days. How many days does May have in it? Oh my God, I can't do that type of math. This is one of those things that you'd have to come up, you could come up and ask me and I would not judge you. Oh, we're in May. I should really know this then. All I know is that class ends on the 24th. May has 31 days. Whew. So that's gonna be our N. And we're looking for a total, so I know I'm going to use the SN formula. So SN is equal to N A1 plus AN all over 2. We're going to do this for 31, which means we'll have 31 plus the first day is $1. And this is the annoying thing where I have to go figure out how much you make on the 31st day. I have to do this same math again for 31. So I'm actually just going to go grab this and then change the 19 to a 31. Looks like he's going to be putting $23.50 in on that last day. And then this I can type into my calculator. So fraction 31 times 1 plus 23.5 all over 2 $379.75. Awesome. So, and remember, you can always do this out, actually seeing what the value looks like beforehand. If you wanted to, to double check, uh, you could also use a sum notation in your formula to have it checked for you too. So there's a lot of ways to get to the same answer or double check your work.